Welcome to a lesson on the division algorithm and remainder classes. Let's begin with the division algorithm. Given any two integers a and b, we can always find an integer q such that a equals q times b plus r, where r is an integer satisfying the condition that r is greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to the absolute value of b. Notice this indicates that r will always be non-negative. Given a and b, we can always determine q and r by performing division, where a is the dividend, b is the divisor, q is the quotient, and r is the remainder. The idea is that we can always take a large enough multiple of b so that the remainder r is as small as possible, meaning greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to the absolute value of b. We do allow the possibility of r equals zero, in which case we have b divides a. Let's look at two examples. For the first example, we are given a equals 37 and b equals seven. We want to write the equation a equals q times b plus r. To find q and r, we divide 37 by seven. There are five sevens in 37, five times seven is 35. We subtract, the difference is two, which indicates the remainder is two. 37 divided by seven is equal to five with the remainder of two, which means for the equation q is five and r is two. A equals q times b plus r is 37 equals five times seven plus two. Next we have a equals 72 and b equals eight. To determine the equation a equals q times b plus r, we divide 72 by eight. In this case, notice there are exactly nine eights in 72. Nine times eight is 72. We subtract the remainder is zero. 72 divided by eight is equal to nine, or we can say nine remainder zero. Our equation is 72 equals nine times eight plus zero. And now let's talk about remainder classes. The division algorithm tells us that there are only b possible remainders when dividing by b. If we fix this divisor, we can group integers by the remainder. Each group is called a remainder class modulo b, or sometimes residue class. And now let's look at an example where I have to describe the remainder classes modulo five. This means you want to classify the set of integers by what their remainder would be when divided by five. From the division algorithm, we know there will be exactly five remainder classes because there are only five choices for what r can be. r must be greater than or equal to zero and less than five, meaning r must either be zero, one, two, three, or four. Let's first consider r equals zero. Here we are looking for all the numbers divisible by five, since we're looking for the set of integers a, where a is equal to q times five plus zero, where zero is a remainder, or we can say a equals five q, where q is any integer. In other words, the multiples of five. We get the infinite set dot, 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 negative 15, negative 10, negative five, zero, five, 10, 15, 20, dot, dot, dot. This is a set of integers where if we divide by five, the remainder is zero. Also notice this is an infinite arithmetic sequence with a common difference of five. This will be the case for each remainder class. And now let's consider R equals one, which integers when divided by five have remainder one. This would be any integer A such that a is equal to q times five plus one or five q plus one, where q is any integer and the remainder r equals one. From here we can simply select integers for q and then determine a, which I've done here on the right in blue. We have q equals negative two, negative one, zero, one, and two. Again, we have a remainder of one here on the right, which is why we have plus one. And notice the results are negative nine, negative four, one, six, 11, and so on. Thus, we get the remainder class for r equals one as the set shown here. Again, notice this is an infinite arithmetic sequence with a common difference of five. So once we determine two or three terms, we can generate the infinite arithmetic sequence rather quickly. We have three more classes to consider. We have r equals two, r equals three, and r equals four. And I've shown work below for each remainder class. For the remainder of class when r equals two, we're looking for the set of integers a, where a is equal to five q plus two, where q is any integer. For the remainder class, when r equals three, we're looking for the set of integers a, where a is equal to five q plus three, where q is any integer. And for the remainder class, r equals four, we're looking for the set of integers a, where a is equal to five q plus four, where again, q is any integer. Looking at the work below, we get the remainder classes listed above. We have the remainder class for r equals two, the remainder class for r equals three, and the remainder class for r equals four. The remainder class for r equals two, 
is the set of integers when divided by five, the remainder is two. The remainder class for r equals three is the set of integers when divided by five, the remainder is three. And the remainder class for r equals four is the set of integers when divided by five, the remainder is four. I hope you found this helpful.